What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate y'all tuning into this vlog. Definitely leave your thoughts and comments down below. I love reading what y'all have to say. Thank you for all the critiques and the thoughts and the tips and tricks on washing our beanie. Yeah, I know I shouldn't just dump the dirty water back over her like a bath. I should do more like Dee said, my wife, and use fresh water, rinse her. Thank y'all for your patience and putting up with, you know, watching that. It might have been a little cringe, but hey, we're gonna keep it real over here. Hopefully you appreciating the authenticity and us just sharing our daily life. Make sure you follow us on social media. On TikTok, it's at the Levines. And on Instagram, it's at Queen D Fitness. That's my beautiful wife. Go support her, because I love her. You should too. She's an awesome woman. I know y'all really gonna enjoy this video, so let's get this video started. Let's go. So we are outside. Fresh off our shower. <laughs> shower. Dog shower. Dog bath. Yo, I could tell she's getting bigger, y'all. She looks bigger. Oh, so just getting some, some fresh air, getting a nice little walk. Nice little walk. She'll stay put as long as she's in the shade. She's a, she's a little diva. Frenchies don't like the heat. So she was like, I ain't no exception. I don't, I don't know why you thought you was going to get it twisted. She hearing them birds chirping. It's a beautiful day. Look up. Be thankful. No matter what's going on. Y'all stay positive as much as possible. Nobody's perfect. Somebody's always gonna walk around happy-go-lucky. I know y'all right on Expect me to. What? What? You trying to play? 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 You trying to play, girl? You trying to play? You trying to play? <laughs> Shoot, walks are good. It ain't just for the dog. It's for me, too. Some fresh air. I need to get some, some birds chirping in my ear. If you stop and pay attention, man, you can hear birds all the time. Look at all the bird noises. It's a beautiful thing. Everybody, do it with me. <sighs> Exhale. Hopefully, you brush your teeth, though. Hey, office. What are you about to do? Are you about to do No, I'm, we me? going to a date now. I ain't exposing you. I ain't got time to play them games with you. You're about to expose me. No, I'm not. I love you. Okay. I love you. Just remember that. Okay. Yo, we're heading to a date night. And, uh,. We're heading to go get salads, do the responsible thing, because my baby, what are you doing? Meeting queen. Like okay, she's, she's, she's doing her challenge. She's eating good, drinking gallons of water a day. Yeah. And we oh. pass the taco shop, and she's like, oh, after we get salads, can we go and get a couple tacos? I'm like, what are you talking about? Why? Isn't this like a date night where you serenade your wife? Like, <laughs> what, two swirly? stops to get food? Yeah, like what is wrong with the taco? That's protein. I brought my wallet. That's gonna spoil you. I'm gonna take care of you, but I come know, on so now. You... You're just so impulsive. Why you and we pat we just passed the place. You're just like, mm. Are you trying to expose me? Yeah, that you a fatty. Wow. That you, you do. You have, You're body you, shaming me? I'm not body shaming you. I'm not body shaming you. Wow, you shaming shaming me? You shaming a shamer? Wow. You shaming a shamer. Love. No, you eat like a big girl. I, I want you to be bigger, though. I want you to be thick, um, because I like my wife like I like my car. Short, wide, low to the ground. So now you're calling me wide. Yeah, I want you wide. Um, yeah, I want my wife to be bigger in all areas. Just not your head. I just don't want your head to get no bigger. Why? Because it's maxed out. It's done for. <laughs> it's, be, it's maximum capacity. Mm. Okay, feed me, please. <laughs> oh, nice bag. Thanks. Where'd you get it from? Burberry. Do you okay. Read? No. Oh. London. <laughs> we like London. Shout out to London, baby. Oh, pop the picture. Do we saw that picture? <laughs> Yeah. I want to go back with the kids. No, it's love. But now. nah, we ain't traveling, girl. We ain't going nowhere. We're going to stay put. <laughs> I'm good, y'all. Ever in life, 
clothes. You, when you're hungry? Look, my wife is always happy after she eats, y'all. Like, she just has a different energy right now. <laughs> y'all, y'all remember Tommy Hilfiger? Man, Tommy used to be that. Yes. Back in, what, the 90s, 2000s? Man, that used to be a hot thing. I remember in middle school, I wanted one to go to the, the dance. If you had Tommy on, you was, you was the ish. Yeah. You was the ish for sure. Yeah, we're just catching up, talking, spending time with each other. We we're talking about communication and having a, a better connection. Have it? Yeah. You want to tell the people we've been, how, how the counseling has been going? We haven't given them any update on that. And we've actually started. Counseling's been good. What? Music. Oh, we'll, we'll, update, we'll update y'all after. I <laughs> you know, the whole world knows you got some screws. No, no, mine is old screws. Your, <laughs> your, your deeply seated screws. Beanie, I think, has this down with being patient. You see it? She's mm -hmm. gonna wait until I say the word. Okay. You got me, Joe? Yep. So, how did you um, adjust your beginning time? From the two, um, I have it just to ask them because I actually wanted to test it. Girl, Beanie. Major? Yeah. I'll get that from my pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. What is it? She's being super patient all the time. Look how big she's got, y'all. She's being a big. She's being a big. My brother. My oldest sister. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, T. <laughs> Thank you. How you feeling? I feel fine. What you, why are you at work? Well, Paj kind of maybe had to come up here because he's at fire. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I want to address some of the comments. Like I said, I'm reading the comments. And, uh... I appreciate all y'all being honest. I, I, I love brutal honesty. I love sweet, subtle, loving honesty. I love people that are just showing love. I appreciate people that are just very confused. So I want to answer one of the things I've seen a lot of ever since we've made the change. Because a lot of people haven't been tuning in for whatever reason. There's so many reasons. Whether it be YouTube, whether it be the subscription feed, whether it be like um, they're just not interested in the content anymore. It's all these things that you may have missed several videos. And I get why you might be in the dark. Where, okay, when, why did they remove all the videos that I just love so much? Like, I would just casually, whenever I want, when I'm bored, I would just go back and watch all the old videos of the birth and when you guys were in New Orleans and all that stuff sounds so good but at the same time we are growing y'all growing as as people we are all supposed to be evolving and growing and it, it's just always been on my heart and y'all could tell a lot of people said like oh you guys don't seem like you're into the vlogs I just needed a refresher and me as the leader and the head of the household as the husband the house band and being under God, like I have to change things up. I had, I had to remove things of the past. I don't like living in the past. I don't like uh, looking at yearbook pictures in high school when I used to do this. I used to do that. Oh man, I used to be so good ten years ago at something. So that was the end of an era. And I put a video out saying R.I.P. that channel. I left it up there for a week straight, and and gave people the opportunity to get understanding of okay it's gonna be a change and I understand any type of change people are very uncomfortable but I want you to have to get used to being uncomfortable through this little change of a channel but in your real life it's a bigger thing that you have to take from this like you can't always just live in the past you have to be able to move forward move on change is great 
God is great. You have to be able to go flow like water. Come on, y'all. And I know a lot of y'all are, you know, um, cool with the change. A lot of people have compliment. A lot of people show love. A lot of people say, man, it feels different. I like the content. It's longer. It's better. It's, it's, it's not just a short little bam bam video just to, to make money or to post. So hopefully that answers some of y'all questions. I'm not going to be too long. I feel like I've been talking too long so far. And I'm going to cut it short. I got to go and run in here real fast. And let's keep this vlog going. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know if you disagree or agree or your thoughts on everything I just said just now. I really want to hear from you. And I'm responding to, to comments. And I'm responding via video. Because a lot of y'all can answer all your individual Some stuff for my big boy. All right, what else do we need? We need some more stuff. We need chips. So Beanie is really catching on to the That's the waiting for water command. Come over here. All right, put it down. Sit. Sit. She only goes when we say the D word. Good job, my bubs. You're the best. Can You're I say? You're a great dog owner. You my bubs forever, my bubs. Can I say that? Yeah, I like your normal voice. Normal voice? Okay. <laughs> you my bubs. Uh, that's not your normal voice. Okay. You my bubs. Jerry's not really liking certain nicknames, so it's, it's kind of uncomfortable for my wife. Because he thinks he said, he's a big boy now. Yeah, he said... <laughs> My bubba sounds like a baby. You're not. It doesn't sound like a baby. Okay, what about you're my lovey? <laughs> <laughs> you're my lovey still works. is acceptable for my bubs. <laughs> I mean, lovey. <laughs> Eat, Beanie. You got the habit. Mm -hmm, that is a habit. So I'm about to make me a green juice real quick. I'm super thirsty. I'm dehydrated. I feel like my throat is itchy, scratchy. Ugh. Just got back from piano practice with my son. My wife is just not posting a, a IG post that is late, but hey, it's new to y'all. Instagram, Queenie Fitness. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures. Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the hygiene If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Potty beanie. Go potty girl. That's what I'm talking about. Love the little butt butt creases on the thighs. <laughs> so yeah, she's coming out off leash to go potty. She understands. So got some news for y'all. Your boy took off his wedding ring. So real quick backstory. It's not, you know, anything bad. Well, it is bad, but can y'all see? My finger. I didn't think me and Dee have been talking about, uh, cause I showed her my finger and my finger is swelling up. And I think it's just over time, boy I've been gaining more weight. And so it's been going to my fingers. So hopefully y'all can see that. Y'all see that crease, that indent? 
That's my first time taking it off in like some years. So your boy fingers are growing, they swell up, they get, you know, more swollen, of course, in the heat. And so uh, I've been talking to my wife about uh, trying to get a replacement and and I wasn't sure I was even gonna be able to take this off. I thought I was gonna have to have it like uh, sawed off or, or something like that. But I was just playing with it and it seemed like it was, my, my fingers were less swollen. I ain't had the chicken nugget fingers. Uh, at the moment, so I just went and put some um, some dish soap on it and started, you know, rubbing up my fingers. But anyway, took my ring finger off, or took my ring off, y'all. So I'm still married, so don't get too crazy. It's nothing, uh, nothing sketch, sketch. But yeah, I just need something that's that's gonna fit or grow with me, man. Cause y'all gonna see how crazy that is. So it feels weird to not have my wedding ring on, and I haven't showed my wife yet. So I'm gonna see what she's thinking a little bit. And there's, of course, the the butterball beanie. Come here, beanie. Come here, beanie. Get some exercise, beanie. Get some exercise, beanie. Of course, she lays down. Yeah, Frenchies don't need much, yo. And this is I've heard about that before we even got her. To where Frenchie's a very chill dog, a well, bulldog. So she's a a French bulldog. Bulldog, and not very working. What are you eating? That's crazy. It's like my finger got a waist strain on so. Can I talk to you? Yeah. What? <sighs> Something real serious. Okay. I don't believe you. Being, okay, I look. I'm being extra dramatic, but. You mean my body? Yeah, she went body. Inside? Outside. Okay. Do you know I love you? Yes. You know I never leave you? Yes. Wow, no, let's ask it again. Do you know I will never leave you? Yes. Got a surprise for you. What? I finally made up my mind. What? I made up my mind. What? Oh, you took it off. I got to come off. No, How was it? I was moving it up and down to so... get over the knot. I know. I showed them already. Oh my god! It's like I'm glad drastic. You took it off. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. I told them like good. I'm not I'm not joking or clickbaiting or making any jokes. Uh, I did this when you went to go run errand, and then I went in the uh, kitchen and I mm -hmm. put dish soap and water. Did it come off easy or no? It came off easier with the soap and water. Okay. Like, cause it was stopping at my knuckle. No, and that's it's that slow. good. Yeah, that's crazy. I told him that's like a before and after. Look oh my it's like, gosh. like a waist trainer on my yeah. finger. Oh, I've been telling him you guys to take take it off. Cause yeah, I told him, I said, we've been in discussion of getting a, a ring yeah. replacement. And you wanted to give me one of the rubber ones. For now, until we figure out like if we want to just make this bigger. Because I think you can. It felt weird even See? taking it off my pointer finger. I left yeah. on my, I feel like... I it need to do it somewhere. like to be married. Yeah. But no, I, yeah. It's in weird. the meantime, I think we should, should. I know you don't like. Don't them, you have one? Just in the meantime, my size. You gotta. Get oh, it I thought it stretches. No, this is. You're gonna be suctioned again. What do you? This is size three. I didn't look. Nobody told me this with getting married. That you gotta adjust your ring, and I thought just this one stays on for life. Well, you gained weight usually. I know. I said that. It's yeah. like, Wait. Wow. You call me fat? Are you shaming no. me? No, I'm not, but like... Yeah, you are. You're shaming me. That's not... Yeah. I'm that's crazy though, right? Oh, wait, I thought... No, but that's just crazy. Because I told him I haven't taken it off since I got married. Oh, my gosh. So yeah, that's a symbol of love. That's, that's what you put me through. No, that's what your food videos put you through. Don't do that. I don't do that. They know I don't do that. I wasn't <laughs> planning on doing it. I was just sitting at the computer, just twiddling with it. Yeah. And I was like, wait, let me slide it. And it, it was moving up more than usual. Like, it wasn't swollen. Because you're not, it's not hot. You didn't just wake up. And I put it in the cold water with this soap. I think, I mean, I told you what I think. I think in the meantime, to figure out what kind of ring you want. Don't you have to order the rubber ones? Um, I don't like the rubber ones. Just though. go to Target or anywhere. Just, and just put something on there. Or if you want to just... Not do anything. Don't do anything. No, I have to have something on. I'm not one of those guys. I don't. I don't like when guys don't have wedding rings on. Mm. It's weird. So. I mean, I agree, but I wasn't gonna like if you don't want to wear this. Yeah, I, I was gonna leave time. it up to you. But yeah, I agree. I wouldn't. I, my choice is you always have something on your. Yeah. Finger. So shouldn't I just put this one back on? But no. Since I'm not gonna get it off. 
I don't know. It doesn't look very. I've been, it's been like this for years. Or at least over a year. No, it's been not fat. years. It fits you for a while. Don't do honestly. That. Ready? We gotta do one. We'll do. Love no, love no, love no, 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 not allowed. He has to run past his dad. His dad has to approve. <laughs> Are you my lovey? My boy. He's my no, boy. That's my son. This is my son. Jerry, whose son are you? Dan, you can stop right there. No, no, I'll, I'll cut it. Daddy and mommy. I'll edit see, that part out. He's a good boy. Daddy <laughs> yeah. and mommy. Yo, he's, he's been right. really respectful. We've taught both our kids to say more of yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So Jerry's always on top of it, right, son? Always. Yes, sir, sir. We don't want it all the time. But he does. He does, but. He's very little. I like that better, though. Yeah. Than not. I want, yeah, I want no. to be still loving. Yeah. I don't want to be too cold, man. Huh? What if I say yes, ma'am, to you all the time? I would love that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Tell me more. Got your water. Mm -hmm. Is you thirsty, girl? Shows that dance, working hard on her solo and her routines and building up that confidence. Very, very important. Discussion with the kids, me and my wife, about jail and going <laughs> to jail. If what qualifies as going to jail? And I'm so, not because, even talking about the time. Wait, but I was talking about travel. I'm gonna tell them why. I was talking about travel. I was saying if you go to a country or a state and you're there for like a couple hours or mm -hmm. there for one day, can you say you've been there? Yeah. No, you haven't yeah. been there. You yeah, haven't been there yeah. long enough. No, you're trying to use that. But I'm saying... Well, no, we, that's more in your favor. I know. What your what argument saying. is. But I, I still know. disagree with the jail thing. So what does it take? So if they in the in a holding cell... It's not jail. That's like someone saying... They've been to oh, jail. Oh, yeah, I've been, a I've been to prison before. No, you no, were not in prison. a holding we're, cell. You're not talking about prison. So there's holding cell, then, then there's jail, <laughs> then there's prison. It's in the same building, though. No, it ain't. It is. The holding no, cell is in the building no. of a jail. It's not the same environment. Okay, so what does it take? Okay, does someone have to get stabbed in the holding cell? Want no. to be covered by the jail? <laughs> no. Yes, that's what you say. Okay, I'm comparing it to travel. My logic for travel: if you've been to Europe and you were there for one day and you left, you haven't been to so Europe. So we didn't go to London. We were, we were there, there for several days. We, we went were to there the London four days. I, I know we've but been there. That's super short. You can no. You have to be there for at least three. You have to be there for at least three to four days. For you to say you've been somewhere if you were there just for a few hours you haven't been there at all we didn't i won do much i won in london it was so but if you fast. go into a holding cell and somebody stabbed you can you come out and say i got stabbed to jail no you guys oh i got stabbed in the holding cell right <laughs> yeah i know another really good long entertaining video lots of ups and downs pulling you off through different days different experiences throughout our life hopefully you enjoyed it definitely don't forget before you leave don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below i love reading to hear what y'all say the critiques the hate the love remembering us being in london and different travel times and different videos in the past that are now private hopefully you understand further on why i made the change how i work how i like to do things in my life that are more challenging to push me to be better and better so i couldn't do these videos without y'all thank you for tuning in we really appreciate y'all see you later god bless you.